everybody. We're gonna stop at a couple thrift stores, but let's see how long we can last because Landon is not happy right now. So, yeah. Okay, well, we found nothing at that one. Right, guys, we're in a new Salvation Army. Let me show you what you got so far. Little dolphin, single stitch t shirt, St. Lad's Greyhounds, single stitch, and then a bowling embroidered single stitch t shirt. Really, really cool. And then two racks for 10 bucks. Perfect. Good job. Say, good job. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's pretty much everything that we found. Um, I did find this bean toss game, and uh, yeah, you guys already saw the racks. We bought a couple baby clothes, and Bethany is here now. Uh, but we are on our way home because we're hungry, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in another day or so. Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, and we're going to an estate sale today. Um, looked to be some good stuff. Um, there was particularly one t-shirt I saw folded up in a picture. So you already know it's probably gone. They opened at nine or 10. It is currently 2.48 PM. So I'm coming late, but I'm just waiting for Bethany to get home. And then we're kind of going to be on our way. And if I record anything in the estate sale, like it'll probably be on my phone, but uh, I'll bring my camera anyway, just in case I'm feeling courageous. <laughs> enough to record it with this camera. And uh, yeah, we'll show you guys everything that we find. All right guys, I didn't have what I want, but leather jacket, this one's 40, obviously. Mm. Not gonna buy this. <laughs> and in with troubles. These, I found these vintage workwear jackets. This one's a Walls, 25 for that one. This Carhartt one, 25, but this one literally is like worth 100 bucks or so. So that's cool. And then another vintage walls one. This one's really cool, but 25 each is expensive. Holy crap. I also have this bomber, but literally I'm not gonna get it because it looks like one I already have. And then they have this little cool little piece here. I think likes these quilted pillowcases. And there's those ones too. I like those ones better. They're just different than what we have. I feel like we have something like this already. Yeah. <laughs> this quilt here, but 50 bucks right now. It's a fair price, but Bethany wants this one for Myla. Oh my gosh. You yeah, guys already know. I think I have to get this one too. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, they got a racing jacket. Oh my gosh. Why do you like this room? Lots of prepping for the end of the world. <laughs> Bethany's an end of the world prepper. <laughs> Found some hats, bell forklift. That's a cool one. This one, you know, is gonna probably be the first personal. Anytime, this is literally the t-shirt I wanted, but it's on hat. Cool corduroy and this cool Jag maintenance green trucker. Bunch of seed bags. I want these for fabric. Those are really cool. Okay, you guys, so that was it for the estate sale. I spent almost 200 bucks, $185. We did buy a lot of things. I bought like five, jackets. five jackets. Yeah, five jackets for 25 a piece. At an estate sale, that's ridiculous. And at a thrift store, that's ridiculous. But you guys um, would should have seen the Santa Fe Carhartt jacket. I sold that one for like 120 by itself. And then the two walls jackets, I mean, I'm, I can at least make my money back, I believe, especially now with it being fall, winter is coming, and I don't really find that kind of stuff, which is why I kind of was just more like intrigued and like wanted to buy it. Yeah, anyways, we'll show you guys everything, I don't know, later today or maybe on Sunday or whatever, but uh, this will probably be it for the clips today. Thank you guys so much. If you made it this far, and we'll see you guys in a couple days. Okay, and we are back, and this is everything that I bought at the estate sale. So let's just dump it in here. So starting off with hats, I'm really sad about this one because I was thinking about keeping this one even though I don't love red. You can see the bell forklift. Um, the strap literally like cracked the second I touched it. It was so fragile, but um, I believe we can order this one. So I'm going to try and fix it. We'll see about that one. This one might also be for a personal hammer time. Um, if you guys saw the previous clips, I literally said I saw the hammer time Detroit bad boys t-shirt in the listing like photos and it sold. The lady said it was like the first thing to go. Um, so I'm kind of sad about that, but whatever. I was not expecting to find everything that I did. And then we have this really cool uh, OJ transport corduroy this nice like faded black super super cool and then we have this one uh we got the jag maintenance just this nice forest green trucker colorway something most of you probably 
will not care about is these two seed bags. They are vintage. I thought they were really cool. This one is upside down and it says King Seeds. Just really like this one. I'm thinking about um, sewing these two together to get a little like lay flat. Um, I found those in the garage. I found a box full to be honest and I was hoping to get the whole box for like 20 bucks but he wanted like 10 a piece but I got these two for 10 um, itself. And then we have this one here is Anchor Seamless, which is really cool. Hopefully you can see the stenciling there. Really, really cool. Um, I really like this kind of stuff. Um, I think it'll look really cool, like, I don't know, just hung up maybe, or like a light part of the lay flat. And then the very first thing that I saw, there was like a rack of clothing in the garage. First thing that I saw literally was this vintage Carhartt, like Santa Fe jacket. I found two of these so far and I sold both of them. And I think this jacket alone should pay for most of everything else, which is really, really cool. But it is a good size. It is extra large and it's got the nice fading, but definitely needs to be washed, needs to be cleaned because um, it smells like like smoke so yeah this is the very first jacket then inside one of the closets this one is so sweet i feel like i've seen somebody else have this jacket before but you guys already know red wings nylon bomber satin bomber jacket size xl but look at that that is so cool this is literally like crazy this is probably the coolest like red wings jacket that i've seen personally so good size too it does have a little bit of yellowing and stuff but i'm kind of scared to clean it because it's white and red and I don't want it to bleed, to be honest. So I'm just gonna try and like spot clean it maybe. This is my first time ever finding this, a Ford racing jacket. This thing is really cool, actually. It is kind of big, oversized, but look at this. I mean, come on, I might. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep this jacket, but I think I might have to wear it once and get like a fit pick in it or something, because this jacket is so cool. I mean, look at this, come on. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm ready to race. <laughs> Anyways, there's that jacket. And then the last two, um, this one fits really nice too, actually. And I love the fading on this one, Perfect. but this vintage like um, 70s or 80s walls uh, jacket. Really nice wear to this one. This one was also in the garage right next to that Carhartt jacket, actually, that I showed you guys. But yeah, like I said, they smell like smoke. Honestly, if I'm if I'm gonna keep one, it might be this one. But I also have Carhartt coverall that I'm gonna cut and make into a jacket. But look how this one fits. Just just look at it. It looks so good. Oh, it. <laughs> Anyways, and then the very last one. I don't know. I'm debating because this one is really really good it's in good condition it literally just has like storage it's like foam from storage like foam dust i don't know but this is a women's but this is definitely really cool it has like jewelry here if you guys can kind of see that this one looks like it will fit really really good too and it almost feels like very very like lightly used yeah i don't know okay this one is definitely a little too small for me but I mean, I can definitely make it work. This is definitely like a cropped boxy type of fit. Really, really nice. Um, I picked them up because I don't usually find like, I don't know, these kind of like workwear Americana jackets very often. So when I see them, I usually will pick them up just because I know it's very, I guess, in. But I also like that kind of stuff too. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm keeping. Probably will try my best not to keep any of that stuff just because I'm trying to get my money back, obviously. But you guys already know, I love to buy cool stuff. If you guys want any of this stuff, please, Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Depop, at shop just some things. And um, yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If this is the end of the video, you guys already know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, we'll see you guys. Okay, bye. So yeah, here are all the jackets. This is literally so crazy. This is honestly probably the most jackets I've bought in an estate sale. Actually, no, that's not true. Okay, take that back. But. Yeah, here's a little closer look. Detroit Red Rings, the satin. Walls jacket, this one, walls jacket also. Carhartt and this sick racing jacket. Really, really cool. So glad I've picked those up. Hopefully I'll make my money back.